This is the Star Wars The Black Series Zuckus. I picked up this figure at my local Toys R Us here in Manila. It's not numbered because it is obviously an exclusive. It cost me 1,600 pesos or roughly $32. Yeah, I know, right? Here it is. And here he is out of packaging. And boy, does he look so impressive. I did not expect to like this figure a lot. Um, you know, these guys, cameos, they're extras. They didn't really do anything in episode five. I mean, but they were Vader's bounty hunters. And he just gave them instructions. And then it was useless because the Empire, the officers already had the Millennium Falcon. And it was like, oh. I never really paid attention to these guys, but the, these Black Series figures of these bounty hunters keep coming out, and this is one of the best Hasbro has ever done. I love the detail and the amount of effort and engineering they've put in this figure and design. Oh, wow. I am very, very impressed. Well done, Hasbro. Okay, just to give you a bit of size comparison, here he is with fellow bounty hunter. Boba Fett. So it's a small figure. Um, that's how he was in the movie. And he stands at roughly just a little over five inches tall, but five and a quarter inches tall, five and an eighth inch tall. And it, it's the details that are really impressing me with this with, with this figure. Let's start with the head sculpt. And if, if you look at it, there's a lot of wash to it. There's some silver. And the plastic is this flesh beige type of plastic. They put some brownish wash on it. And it looks absolutely fantastic. There's like a wash on the silver paint that makes it look metallic. Very nice. Uh, then he's got this, uh, this leather vest of sorts. And I've seen the other figures that have very light wash. This is this one has the darkest wash. I'm pretty sure it's an error because uh, most of the pictures on the internet, it's a very light beige type of uh, vest, of leather strap vest. And uh, this one had a very heavy uh, wash. And I, I chose this one because I thought the wash on this one, because it was accidentally heavy, just made that whole accessory pop out. And look at that very dirty very leathery very very worn out type of material he's got these hoses that are attached here at the back of the vest he's got some detail right here okay then he's got his uh, overalls which is uh, i thought they were just going to be some soft goods type of cloth or plastic like um they were like fall leather type of material back in the day in the 80s this one is made of it looks leather, but it's not. It's actually sort of like a felt type of cloth with some stitching and all that. And there's print on, uh, there's just this print all over. And I'm glad they didn't make it like a flat brown. It, it has sort of like this uh, cam camouflage or fatigue type of, uh, of, of design to it. I'm loving it. I mean, for a, for a character who just appeared for five seconds or less, I, I'm liking what Hasbro's done with this one. Okay, he comes with his blaster, and apparently he's left-handed because only the left hand is gripped uh, or molded to hold this blaster, and the other one is supposed to do it here. And I guess in the movie, that's how he held the blaster. Like that, so that's fine. Uh, you get some more detail. Uh, with his breathing apparatus, I suppose. All right, and what I can show you is underneath, the, I, I can't remove the the, uh, the overalls for some reason because um, these pieces are glued on and I don't want to risk ruining the figure by um, trying to pry open the vest. So I'm not going to remove the jacket or the overalls, but I will show you how he looks like underneath. Kind of like, it's kind of like the skin of Bosque. Uh, but he's got that uh, reptile-like type of texture on it. He's got gloves, and it's the same on. It's the same with this side. Uh, same texture. Also underneath that, he's got some pants on. Uh, torso. It's just your regular brown uh, 
pants and some boots, flat boots. That's it. That was the fashion back in episode five. And uh, yeah, overall, genuinely pleased with this figure. I was very surprised at how well it turned out. If you're trying to get all six of Vader's um, assassins or bounty hunters, then uh, this one is definitely a must have. Um, and I, I can only imagine how difficult this will be to get for some of uh, some parts of the world and it's supposed to be a Toys R Us exclusive out here in Manila it is an exclusive Toys R Us and I'm, I reckon in Hong Kong and Singapore and the rest of Asia it will be a Toys R Us exclusive it doesn't have that um, that sticker but uh, I was only able to per uh, see this and purchase it at Toys R Us I'm a local Toys R Us our Toy Kingdom stores did not have it and since it Toys R Us is closed in the U.S. Um, it's going to be a pain tracking this one down. You're going to have to find other stores that carry it. Maybe online stores that have it. But uh, best of luck to everybody looking for it. If you're trying to complete all six of um, the Bounty Hunters. So there you go, folks. Uh, the figure is going to get a 10 out of 10 for me. Very, very nice. Well done, Hasbro. The Star Wars The Black Series in the 6-inch scale. Zuckus. Thanks for watching.